not feel as crazy. Tell me when you were recording. I'm recording. Oh. Uh, you know, it's funny. I, I went into like I was having a TI moment. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> Just had a TI moment. Yo, um, then no, I'm so actually we're sitting here. You know, it's it's kind of everything comes full circle, and you know when you have to complete them ciphers. This is the completion of a cipher. Past life entertainment, Prodigy Studios. We in Suite 415. This is our last official day, Labor Day. It's crazy too. The irony. You know what I'm saying? We it's time that we uh move on to our next our next place in life expansion. You know, we, we work we spent two years, really three years in this building, one hundred State Street. And uh, we started off in a very humble beginning, sharing off a space that in the next two years we were we were blessed to be able to have, you know, at the what really at the end of the day was a change in the game for me and this organization. We we took it upon ourselves to put put ourselves in a, in, a, in a risk situation because we had to pay a substantial amount of money for office space and also a place for us to record. So originally our plan was just to really blow up our label and have a studio for our artists, but it turned into us starting an actual studio for the public. And in these last two years, we learned a tremendous amount of, amount of things about not only business, but the nature of people. So you know, I feel like I'm a sociologist as well as a psychologist, you know. I'll get an honorary degree later. Doctor, yeah, I'll you guys can figure out what school y'all want to do, what it wants to do. I don't mind. I'll take whatever, whatever one of those. I don't care if it's the Phoenix Institution. We'll be accepting awards. <laughs> Ed, Ed got the Ed got the Phoenix, the honorary degree from Phoenix. <laughs> Why not Duke University? <laughs> yeah. So, but now, nah, but real, but real, but real talk. Um, you know, this is the end of an era here at four fifteen. Um, I'm not gonna even disclose our next location right now. Whether whether or not this comes out, it doesn't. This is just documentation for the completion of a great phase, and um, not only my life, but I think the lives of everybody in my organization at Past Life Entertainment and Prodigy Studios. Like everybody is really grown tremendously. So um, right now, I'm sitting here with Gian Carpino. This is my. He's a. He's right now. He's coordinating the AR A and R department right now, and um, as well as he's a musician. An artist as well, and, and really like you know my overall. He's really like you know the ultimate assistant for everything. This is my dude. Period. You know what I mean? And uh, you know a lot of things flow right into his lap. You know once I start speaking, as well as you know defiance always in the mix. You know, but there's a lot. There's a lot more in the organization, but this is one of my main go-to guys right here, Gian. So when we started this studio, we came and we started putting up all these different pitches. And it was important because I felt like when you come into someone's establishment, you're trying to get a feel for who these people are. Well, these are my degrees and stuff right here. But but this, this is what's on my head. Pictures. The pictures. The pictures. Each one is significant. Like that's my cousin DJ Focus. We did an event. You know, I used to I was affiliated with our organization, radio uh, commercial as well as um college radio station. I've I've been affiliated with both for years, but um I, I really just more focused what doing my brand with college. But um, but when I was with commercial radio, uh, I was with um, Hot 99. You know, I say it. You know, shout out to all the homies at Hot 99. All the DJs, I got love for all the DJs. Everybody's working and doing what they gotta do. You know what I'm saying? Um, well, we did this event for my my boy Vic. Rest in peace, right there. We did a, we, This was his store. He passed away a couple years ago, and you know, we this is like I used to do his his block party store every year. Every year they they do a Delaware Ave throws a block party. So we did the, the block party every year for him. That was my boy. He used to endorse me, always hooked me up with the phones and everything. So I brought my cousin DJ Focus and we turned that down, turned that up. And then, um, you know, so that's an important picture for me, you know what I mean? Because not only that's my, my family right there, but also my, my boy Store, who's no longer with them. That's him right there, my boy Vic. And um, so yeah, this is us at practice. I did an event with him there. He had me hold down all his models. He did, he was promoting the store, so he had a stand set up and a bunch of bunch of models came through so he wanted me to basically manage that whole situation all the models and all his advertising and stuff sales stuff that he wanted to be given to the people so I was handling I was a handler basically and um so that's me and that's uh, the owner of uh, Fresh and Fire Clothing Justice Maddox but anyway it's like all history that's that's um DJ, D, um, DJ Focus and, and DJ Show from Hot 99 that's us up in Hot 99 up in Hot 99 you know yeah, this is, I mean, this is like history, me and Jada Kiss, this is my, when he boarded my show, best radio show in the, in the Cap region, I kind of just had this 